This is Hydrogen Tap. I've received a lot of email and I've decided to explain in further detail the new Aaron Cell upgrade. It's 9.21 in the morning, Tuesday, and I'm going to show you the way the system works. These are the this is the twin system. This is a mock-up of the cell itself. There's actually 15 plates in the Aaron cell. Obviously, this does not have 15 plates. You can see the electrode arrangement. Remember, this is just a mock-up. This is not the cell that goes inside it, please. This is the one of the three electrodes. As you can see, the way the electrodes work, it splits the cell in half. It's one cell. This is the second electrode, and on the top is your third. The one that goes through the top goes to the negative side of the battery and that goes to the positive and that one goes to the positive. So if you disconnect either one of those you get half a cell. There's your negative. It goes through all the plates on one side. You can see how the electrodes go through it. This is a real easy way to split the cell. The reason for this is, again, I received an email asking me what would happen or could we not split this, put two cells in, I guess was the email. So if it gets hot, if one cell gets hot, you can turn it off. I've decided splitting the cell makes more sense. This way we can control it very, very easy. So the electrode I'm handling right now in this mock-up is controlling one side of the cell and the other electrode to your right is controlling the other side. So two plates. And that negative gives you one side. This is the positive side. That's the negative side. It really works out real, very well, by the way. Again, this is a mock-up of the cell. The spacing is done deliberately wide so you can see how it works. You can see the three electrodes. It's actually a two in one. So two goes to the, each one of those goes to the positive side of the battery. And that one goes to the negative. The negative stays on the battery all the time. The other two are connected and disconnected depending on how much power you want or how much hydrogen you want to pull out. You can see that goes to the one side of the electrode cell, and this goes to the other. And there's your negative. This is the new configuration of the Aaron cell. I've discontinued the others, so if you do order the Aaron cell now, this is the configuration you're going to get. The 3LR1000 twin takes over for the 3LR1000. 
As you can see the ports are working out rather nice. There's where you put the water in. The two ports there are corked so that if there's any backfire, hopefully that will blow them out. All these cells are made for test only. These are bench test units. The 3LR-8 twin that I have in my car is a test unit as well. If you put any of these units in your car, that's up to you. The cells I am selling are for test purposes only. There's a lot of people using them for other purposes. I am selling them for test purposes only. You must monitor this equipment. This is this is explosive or potentially explosive. Hydrogen is an explosive device. The reason I'm and and that is the sensor there. These are gold tipped or I should say gold plated. And there's the new water exit tube. The new cells are glued down to the base and the top piece you see there is still left the way it is. In other words, when you take the unit apart, the top comes off, but the bottom stays attached. You can see everything is twist as well. makes it easy to access. The reason I'm doing it this way now is because as the unit gets wet and heats up, that seal there needs to be retightened down. There are other ways of doing it, but so now the bottom is glued to the that half inch plate or plastic. Acrylic is what it actually is. I have a comment to make about some of these email I receive. I am a scientist or claim to be. I'm trying to be. I think like a scientist. How's that? If you write me an email Leave out all the three-letter words. I understand it's crept into the language, and a lot of people use it just as a day-to-day. -day. I'm a scientist. I don't want to hear that. If you want to talk to me, if you want to email me, be civil. To me, that's civil. If you're into the science, and you must be if you're doing this, leave that out. It doesn't impress me. I don't care for it. And generally, when I get any email that has any of this in it, I just delete it. And I definitely don't allow it in the comments on my video. It's just not necessary. I'm not being a prude. If you want to be, or if you want to get involved with this, or How's this? If you want to get involved with me in this new science, then leave it out. Thank you.